In this advanced dynamic panels demo, we'll cover using the dynamic panel to prototype drag and drop as well as show some animations. Let's take a look at the prototype we're going to build first. Here's a map of neighborhood coffee shops and a marker that can be dragged. Dragging and dropping the marker onto another spot changes the content shown in the info panel. The panel animates into view from behind the map. If you drop the marker on an area without a spot, it moves back to its starting point. Clicking reset does the same. Now let's see how this is built. This is the shop info panel that is shown and set when the marker is dropped on each coffee shop. We need to know the locations of the panel when it's visible and hidden to use in the interactions. This is the marker panel that we're going to make draggable. It has two states, the default state and active state. The on drag start, on drag, and on drag drop events let you add interactions at each stage of the drag. In the on drag start, let's add a case to set the marker to its active state using the set panel state to state action. Next, in the on drag, we're going to add a case to move the marker with drag. This moves the panel with the cursor in the prototype. In the on drag drop, we want to set up the cases when the marker is dropped on a spot. Let's do this for the four barrel shop. I'm moving the marker over the spot so we know the position to snap to. Add the case with a condition to check if the area of widget marker is over area of widget four barrel. Then add an action to set the coffee shop info panel state to four barrel. We also want to move the marker into place on top of the spot and move the shop info panel into position. We'll do these moves with animation. Then do the same for each of the other coffee shops. The last case we want to add is for when the marker is not dropped over a spot. In this case, we'll move the marker and coffee shop info panel back to their original positions and set the marker back to its default state. Since we want the same thing to happen if the user clicks reset, we can copy and paste the case onto the onclick event for the reset link. And that's how to prototype drag and drop using the dynamic panel. If you have questions, email us at support at or tweet us at ActureRP.